Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. It's great to see you again. What Araken is, is it's never been a ring or a competition sport. It is designed for you to use your body in your environment, wherever you may find yourself. You know, you might be in a nightclub, you may be in a car, you may be in a house party, you may be, you know, on the street, wherever you are. Use the environment in your body to be able to come up with a response to what you've been given. We train you with so many different ways in terms of scenarios and repetitions like as drills so that we impregnate the responses into your nervous system so that if you ever need to use it, it comes out automatically for you, right? So that's why I meant it's not a ring or a competition based style because everything we do is aimed to get the job down and that involves hitting a lot of vital areas. Um, and also how to use your body, every part of it, right? So. Uh, if J Josh is over here, he's gone for a punch. I don't know what punch. I've blocked it here. Could be fingers. Could be this spearing hand to the eye. It could be the back of the fist. It could be an open palm that comes around. Um, it, it could be a hammer fist that goes around. Now, of course, knuckle into the throat. But instead of punching, you might hit a knuckle to the throat. When a punch comes, I'll hear block it. Any punch and then hit the knuckle to the throat. You'll learn to kick, for example. Um, you, 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 you'll have your, your front kicks. Uh, you'll have your, what we call your knee kicks or your press kicks, you have your roundhouse kicks, you, know, you have your back kicks, you have so much more that you can use if you need it to. So you've got your power, placement, and timing of course is important, and then you put it all together. Palm coverage, palm stump palm. <coughs> so that was a palm to the face, edge to the neck, palm to the other side, and a stump palm to the temple. So, uh, to, to the temple. so I don't know, that was about five hits, but you can train that. Uh, <coughs> Train that nice and quick on the pads with a lot of power as well, right? If you know hundreds of hits and you, you put them into a blender and you can have a many, many combinations that you can do and not just for the sake of it, but on the street, you may have to deploy different lines in different situations. It is phenomenal with what you can do with speed. Speed, first and foremost, is a, is a conditioning of your nervous system so that your nervous system knows that straight punch equals bridge eye gouge, right? Straight punch equals bridge eye gouge. And once the eyes are gone, straight punch equals bridge eye gouge, take a straight pump to the jaw. So speed is a matter of training over and over so that you have an extremely fast response time to a stimulus. And once that speed comes in, then you've got your foot speed. Your Josh could be able to uh, outside range, throw a kick at me. I might be able to move out, kick back out, move in, and, and get into range, put a knee over here, come back around here, meet my next opponent over here. Right? Just as importantly, you will need to also learn to use your opponent size and weight against themselves rather than being a brick. Right? If he gives me a shove and drives me back, and if I was trying to brick him up, I'm not gonna win in this situation. Right? Yes. But if we, what's called yielding or go with the impact a little bit and then you use his, use his momentum against him so as it comes to instead of bricking out I'll yield to that control his neck there's his neck there if I want to I give it a little bit of a bit of a traction on the neck as well right that's a bit of a danger all of it's a dangerous move so, so don't try anything this at home until you learn all this properly right especially with your friend you want to be super careful with it if I'm not strong enough I won't win right over here but if I go with it I use that momentum then to be able to work for me you know, all those training with your all your many ranges, so many techniques, placement, power, speed, and flow, and, and how, how to go with opponent's body weight and size against themselves, then you train it and train it and train it, then we'll help you put it together in, in pretty cool seminars, like we'll actually take you out to a nightclub, right? We hire a whole nightclub, put some music on, so that you will meet the classroom in a real life situation as best as we can with tremendous amount of control, of course, guys, no one gets hurt in these. And you, we might go to a house, we might hire a house, have a house party, we might put you in a car, do a road rage, we've even been on a train. That's when the classroom has to then meet with the street and all these extra training like seminars we do for you will help you do exactly that. If you want to get really good at it, it's going to take a little bit of work and I'm not going to lie about that. It's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to be more than six weeks. And if you dedicate yourself, if you train, our hope for you is that you learn how to fight so well that you never have to fight because your awareness is really high, you're calm, you're confident, you have so much more love because you're more secure in yourself so that you never have to raise your hand to hurt somebody. You know, and then if somebody is looking for an easy victim, it's not you because you've been training so well. Guys, I hope that was interesting for you. Again, thank you for your time and your energy and always your continued love and support.